Well, this month we are continuing to celebrate our black community in Colorado and elevate its voices. Tonight we focus on our hospitals and doctors' offices. Over the past years, we have seen how this pandemic exacerbated many of the inequities in our healthcare system. But many in the business are trying to change that. Tonight, our Connor McCure reports on their experiences and their hopes for a more diverse and equitable system. In the emergency department at UC Health University of Colorado Hospital, Dr. Von Brown sees the worst of the pandemic every single day. We have seen a constant tide of severely ill patients. His immediate concern is with each of those struggling patients, but more so than ever before, his own health is on the line. The last year has been among the most physically and emotionally challenging uh, years in the 20 years or so that I've been around emergency medicine. At Highlands Ranch Hospital, it's been a much different experience for Dr. Lisa Wynn. We've just recently started to reopen elective cases. As an OBGYN, she hasn't been on the COVID-19 front lines, but found another way to join the fight. Last summer, she enrolled in UC Health's trial for the Moderna vaccine after her husband, Charles, signed up. For us, I thought it was important to participate in the trial because this was something that we could do to make our community better. Dr. Wynn and Dr. Brown are among the many black men and women doing their part amidst the health crisis of our time. But looking across their facilities, they see few colleagues who look like them. That lack of diversity has spanned decades, but is once again in the conversation after last year brought familiar pain in a reinvigorated push for change in our country. I think it's extremely important that we not lose that momentum right now, that we recognize that there are centuries of inequity that lie at the heart of the problems that we're seeing in our society. Dr. Brown, who also teaches emergency medicine, says a more diverse workforce starts when kids get opportunities early. We need to have a pipeline of qualified, excellent students through middle school, high school, who are receiving encouragement to pursue careers in medicine and science and who are getting messages that they're capable. It's one of the many things in the works at Craig Hospital, where Dr. Jandell Allen Davis is president and CEO. There is evidence, there have been published studies that show when there is race and gender concordancy between your provider and you, we see that treatment adherence goes up, there's a better sense of trust, there's a sense that this is a person who understands me and is listening. Alan Davis says retention and promotion is also crucial in how qualified but often overlooked candidates will get opportunities like she has. I've been called a unicorn. They're a lot more common than you think, and we're just not looking in the right places. While it may take years for changes to show results, people like Dr. Brown and Dr. Wynn will keep carrying the torch, putting their health on the line every day while lending their voice to a bigger cause. There are many unsung heroes in our communities around this country, and many of them are minorities. And I think it's important to recognize the contributions that they have made and to continue to encourage the increased representation of those people. In Denver, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First. Connor, thank you very much. Great report. Join us every night on CBS4 and CBS in Denver as we continue to elevate black voices during this Black History Month.